Guest then tips with a prostitute. As in, full-on offers the girl up to him and says, you wanna have a go? <laughs> Hotel staff of Reddit, how often do you catch people nude in the holes and what's your best story? <laughs> Last week I had to shoo an amorous couple out from behind the dumpster. Our hotel has the worst smelling dumpster I've ever had the displeasure of experiencing. The thought of anything sexual going on back there is enough to make me gag. Been working three years as a night manager and it honestly only happened once. Knocked on a room where I suspected that a guest was smoking in the room. He opened the door completely nude and casual. One time housekeeping brought the front desk a bag of sex toys that were left behind. After 5 seconds of checking the system, I find that the guests are here for two more nights. Housekeeping ran back to put the bag where they found it before the guests came back. I used to work at a great wolf lodge. I'd catch people having sex in the hot tubs quite often. It was always awkward having to go tell them to stop. Edit. Not Wisconsin Dells, this was Virginia. But I'm sure this happens at all of them. You have nothing to worry about, they keep up with the water quality very well, at least when I was there. No, you cannot get pregnant from swimming in a pool with jizz. This was about 5 or 6 years ago, but I'll probably never forget it. A couple was ducking all morning in a room I was supposed to clean later on. You could hear them on the entire floor. After lunch, I see them leaving, both in business suits, both very classy late 30s, both very attractive. I opened the door and the room was trashed, as if a rock star from the 70s stayed there. Crushed crisps, spilled booze, the sofa, the bed, the bathroom were such a mess those usual, 20 min they give you for cleaning, would never be enough even for 3 people. They left a 40 pound tip on the table and a note saying sorry. I was working the morning shift one day and it was almost 3 so I'm getting ready to leave. The business center was right in front of the front desk, across the lobby. I'm counting money and I look up to see Big Booty Judy getting pounded out on one of the computers and a guest with his junk out, going to town. I was in shock. Right then my coworker walks in and sees him too. She said sir. This is a family hotel. Get to your room, now. If you're reading this, t thanks for handling that. The guy somehow managed to lock himself out of his room naked and had to come to the front desk to get another key. The front desk is separated from the room since there are five buildings each with a certain number of rooms and he was in the one furthest from the desk. So he had to walk naked across the property, the saving grace was that it was around midnight so no one was around. Also I was sitting down and the counter goes around chest high. So I just thought he didn't have a shirt on until he was walking away, and I did a double take as I got a good look at his flabby ass. Had one dude full on nude walking about, but that was boring. Best was a guy who called down and said he was locked out of his room after sleep walking, go up, he's just in boxers, I let him in, then came down to check the cameras. Dude was straight wandering the hall's penis in hand, slowly stroking it, whilst he knocked on doors, then came back down the hallway pees into a bin in front of the elevators, and then calls down. You can even see the moment he wakes up he looks confused and lost. Was a good laugh. He got charged with a hazardous waste cleanup fee. I used to work as an overnight auditor for a hotel. One day while I was doing rounds at 3 am, I thought I saw something moving at the opposite end of the hallway, and I was like, did I just see a naked man? This poor guy was sleepwalking butt naked while hugging himself, our hallways are freezing cold. I approached him closer and said, hello sir, he turned his head and said hey. I was like, is he still asleep? Five seconds later, I guess he realized what was going on, he said, I'm so sorry. I gave him a robe from a nearby housekeeping closet and took him to the lobby to verify his identity, obviously he doesn't have an ID on him. I gave him a room key and followed him back to his room to make sure he doesn't sleep on his way back or whatever. Edit. I am glad that I didn't send this story to my manager. Whether he reads it as if I rubbed a naked man in the hallway, pulled off a stick up on a guy with his stick hanging out, or even worse, as if I hid Mr. Rob in the closet so I could introduce him to a sleepwalker, I would have been fired. Here's a story. Keep in mind I was a 17-year-old girl while working at this hotel. 
I've never seen a naked person in the hallway. But once in the lobby a man at around 300 am sat down on a chair and called his girlfriend. I was on the night shift and I was sitting down behind a computer screen, so he would have only seen the top of my head if he looked over. But it was Sunday morning and he was extremely drunk from a wedding. He was wearing a suit and I was just keeping my eye on him. He then started having raunchy phone sex with his girlfriend or wife. And it was so raunchy. My jaw dropped and I honestly didn't know what to do. Then a janitor came over and we were sitting there flabbergasted. He then pulled his dick out and started jerking off. So I got up, walked over and said, sir, you're in the lobby. He woke up out of his sexual drunken stupor and I'll never forget the look of horror that came across his face. He ran to his room so embarrassed. Finally one I can answer. I caught someone once. Well I didn't have to catch them. They came to me. I worked night audit at a local hotel. One night morning around 5 am I was at the desk when the elevator started moving. At the time we didn't have cameras so I didn't know what to expect. When it stopped in the lobby the doors opened and I see a man with a cart looking slightly shocked. Then from the blind spot from where I was standing out stepped a man with a cigarette in hand and nothing but a small towel around his waist. He looked pissed. He stormed up to the desk and demanded a new room key. All while yelling about how he got lost in the confusing as duck rooms. I confirmed his room best I could given the situation and sent him on his way. The poor man that was in the elevator with him looked like he saw more than I did and didn't want to talk about it. An hour later the man came down to the lobby to check out and demanded a full refund for embarrassing him and for not clearly labeling the balcony door and the hallway door. I laughed and told him to call my manager. Which he did later that day. Kicker is the room he was in had two doors. A bathroom door on one side of the room. And on the completely other side with a fire map, chain lock and deadbolt the room door. There was no balcony attached to his room. Not my story, but my brother manages a nice hotel that happens to be near a red light district. One day, he gets this tourist who books a double room for a month, ideally as far away from the main entrance as possible. Guest checks in, and starting on the third day, there's this conga line of prostitutes coming in and out of the guy's room. By my brother's own count, the guy's personal record is 16 different women in a day. That's not the crazy part. One day, a guest comes to the front desk with a woman on each arm and asks my brother if he could book an Uber. Brother obliges and books the guest an Uber. Guest then tips with a prostitute. As in, full on offers the girl up to him and says, you wanna have a go? I sincerely hope nobody ever takes a blacklight to that room. Edit. To answer the important question. No, he did not partake. He was on shift and working the front desk at the time. Edit too. To answer the other question. In a lot of poorer countries, cash is still king. A lot of tourists don't want to mess around with tourist sims and the local cellular networks, so they ask the front desk at hotels to call an Uber for them. The Uber gets to the hotel, and the guest pays the driver in cash. And yes, taxis are a lot easier. But in this specific country, taxis are also infamous for running scams, refusing to take passengers, or marking up their fares with bullcrap invisible charges. The case of underwear man and the mysterious bathroom lady. I worked night audit at a hotel 11 pm 7 am. On this night in particular we had a group of Native American construction workers who were excavating a site nearby for fossils. Anyways in the night shift you normally don't get anybody coming down except to rummage through our little market for Oreos or other snacks. Well around 2 am I see someone standing in the market in just his underwear. For context the back office is next to the market, but you need a passcode to get through, and we have cameras back there hence why I was able to see him. So I open the door and this guy looks completely out of it. Like a 1000 yard stare in just his underwear. Weirdly enough I don't smell weed or alcohol. He tells me he needs help getting into his room. That there's some crazy lady in there and he's afraid. I ask for some sort of id to confirm if he's a guest. He tells me his name and other matching information. Sure enough he's a guest in room 212. I make a copy of the key and then walk with him. But of course I asked him about the lady because according to our files, there's no one else in the room. 
He confirms with me that it's just him. He tells me that a while ago he went to get ice in just his underwear, and when he returned to his room, he saw a lady in the bathroom. He tells me that she attacked him and locked him out. Naturally I'm calling BS on all this, but just in case I got my cell phone ready to call 911. So we take the elevator and then walk over to 212. The guest looks mildly uncomfortable, but I press on. The keycard works and we get inside. Immediately I check the bathroom while the guest hasn't even stepped foot in the room. I check everything and I see no sign that anybody forced themselves in here. The guest looks confused but shrugs it off. Weirdly enough that was like a month into the job, and this guest is a regular. I would see him most mornings and we never acknowledged what happened that night. Never acknowledged that I saw him in his underwear or that he looked like he was on something. Just every day good morning Mr. M and we our conversations never went further than that. Like and subscribe for more funny, interesting, and scary r slash ask reddit videos.